asked by a lady called Diane, how can I use props with arm rods? I thought I'd ask my nephew, uh, James, if he'd come along and tell us a little bit about it. James. Certainly, Uncle. First of all, let's just talk about how to put a rubber band onto the thumb and the finger of a puppet. You see, what we want to do is to attach this little finger to the thumb. I'll show you how to do that. The first step is to uh, loop the rubber band through itself so you can then take it across to the finger and just wrap it round the finger like that. And that means you've got a rubber band tight on the puppet's finger. Now you can slip something through it. For demonstration purposes, onto a pipe. You can see how it goes through. You band another finger on the other side similarly and the pipe can go to the mouth of the puppet and can be moved away. And what is moving it? Just the one arm rod. A recorder makes a good prop because you simply take the top off it, put in a cork, uh, stick the arm rod up through the bell of the recorder into the cork. See, there's the puppet. The pipe can be positioned in the mouth. There are the hands, just holding the pipe. And again, it's all, all controlled by the arm rod, which is underneath. It also means the puppet can take the uh, pipe away from its mouth during performance, which adds to the authenticity of it all. There we are. Now, on this saxophone, We've got a bit of tape which is swinging around at the end. You probably cannot see it very clearly. That goes around the neck of the puppet. And the arm rod, as you can see, that is just fixed on with silver gaffer tape. Just wrapped around and uh, that's how it's stuck on there. Because again, you can take it away from the puppet's mouth. Put it back, all controlled, quite simply by one arm rod. With the hands of the puppets rubber banded to the body of the saxophone. Well, thank you very much, James. But I tell you what, I've got a bit of a challenge for you now. Can you get this umbrella with one arm rod so that a puppet can use it? And actually, can you demonstrate it with a puppet, please? Well, Uncle, I'll do my best and I'll show you the result. Well, you can see that this umbrella is quite a big prop for a puppet handle, but the first thing I've done is just to attach with rubber bands the shaft of the umbrella to the top of the arm rod and the handle of the umbrella to about the midsection of the arm rod. And you can see there that uh, it can be held just by one arm rod. And on the puppet, as you will see, it can be controlled just by the one arm rod with nothing else attached. Here we are, Uncle. Here's our little lady with the umbrella or the parasol. And you can see that she's holding it. But if we look more closely, we can see that the bands are simply attaching a hand around the handle and the shaft of the umbrella. She's not supporting it at all. All the support is on the good old faithful arm rod. When she appears on stage, the effect is that she can move the umbrella around in different directions. She can move it about. She can sing under it. And she can lean it against her shoulder. And so she can walk with it as well. And that 
is how to fix an umbrella that is a useful prop. She can lift it up and down, say to somebody, come and share my umbrella with me and put it over their head. You've got flexibility and it's all down to the arm rod, the single arm rod that's carrying the weight of the umbrella and is directing the motion of the umbrella whilst all the time, of course, it looks as if the puppet is doing it. Will you lift your umbrella up, darling? There we are, look at that, straight away. Okay, can you bring it down now, please? Thank you very much. And perhaps you'd like to hide behind it. Oh, excellent. I hope that does the job, Uncle, and that you think that I have accepted and won your challenge in a satisfactory fashion. You certainly have, James. Thank you very much indeed. So there you are, Diane. That's how to fix uh, arm rods into props to really make them useful and easy to use. It only remains for me to say bye.